New at six tonight, a picture postcards from the most famous local attraction that you probably never heard of. It's surprising when you consider what it promised, which I think is fantastic. People have been searching for it for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Probably. Fox 13's Lloyd Sauer shows us tonight the place that promised the ultimate prize has been all but forgotten. What if a sip of water could turn back time? What if you could find the fountain of youth? I mean, we would all like to get younger, <laughs> especially if we're older. And if we're young, we would like to stay young, right? right? <laughs> Will Michaels is a time traveler in a place that was once famous. Where we're standing is where people on picture postcards told folks back home they'd found the fountain of youth in St. Pete. A lot of people don't know this is here. That, well, that's true. You know, there, there are all these best kept secrets in St. Petersburg, and this might be at the top of the list. In his book, The Making of St. Petersburg, he tells how the fountain of youth opened in 1900 and then went on for decades. The magic water was from an underwater artesian well near the pier. That special water had a smell. It stunk like <laughs> rotten eggs. You know, why would anybody be drinking right. this stuff? And not just tourists. As late as the 1970s, Will says locals brought jugs to fill with water. This was uh, hugely popular uh, as a place to get water. And uh, folks were lined up for a couple of blocks. That water was something special. Years ago, they tested the water. Word was that it contained more minerals than any spring in Florida. Turns out, there was something in the water. It had calcium, magnesium, and a very high level of lithium. Lithium, of course, is a mood stabilizer, so people were getting a little buzz off of this. It may not have made them younger, but they were more relaxed about getting old. Well, I think we ought to get a drink of the fountain of youth, right? <laughs> they switched it over to city water years ago, but the legendary fountain remains to this day on a busy corner near Al Lang Field. And what a backstory it has. Interestingly, uh, legend and myth combines with science here. And a time traveler of history can imagine what it must have been like before the famous fountain was forgotten somewhere in time in St. Pete. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Now that fountain is now a very small city park right there. He mentioned Alling. It's right at the corner of 4th Avenue South and 1st Street Southeast right there in downtown St. Pete.